GitHub recently announced the possibility to automatically merge a pull request into the main branch. And today we will see how. This is a 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Career Dave and welcome to the first episode of 2021 of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today I will show you how to use the brand new pull request out to merge feature recently announced by GitHub and why I think it's pretty useful. But let's start the clock and get into it. Let's start with why is this feature useful? Right now, when you submit a pull request on GitHub, you often have to spend a lot of time waiting for approval, status check to complete, etc. And then you gotta remember to check back in so that you can actually have the code merged. And if you forget to do that, or if you have to wait for a day or two for other people to comment, for example, sometimes even other changes come in and you need to merge or even redo your pull request. This new feature basically lets developers submit a pull request to a code base and mark it to be automatically merged when approved and all the checks have passed. All right, let's see now how to use it. First thing we have to do is making sure that the auto merge feature is enabled for our repo. To do so, let's just go to settings and within the options, scroll down until after the feature part. You see we have this merge button section and in here we have this new allow auto merge checkbox that as the name says, enable this feature. So let's just check it and we're done. Now the feature is enabled. Let's go back to our code and see this in action. I already have a branch that I want to use to create a pull request. And in fact, so I do. And as usual, we should specify a meaningful comment and let's also add some reviewer. Now we're ready to create a pull request and we do so. As usual, we can see the reviewers over here and we also see that the review required. All the checks have already passed because they are pretty quick, but still the merge is blocked until the review comes in. Now, since we are in a different time zone, I would have to wait a long time before I can actually merge. So, because we enabled the auto merge, as you can see here, we have this enable auto merge button. When I click it, I can also select what kind of merge I want to use. And then I can just click on enable auto merge, insert the information I want to use for the merge commit and confirm. At this point, as you can see, we have the auto merge enabled. And at any time, if I want, I can also disable it. And what this will do is as soon as the reviewer will approve this pull request, this pull request will be automatically merged into the main branch. Pretty straightforward, right? Of course, this is totally optional, but I think it's a significant improvement in the experience and also in time saving. And there is, of course, the possibility for org admins and repo admins to turn this feature off if they don't want their pull request on their repos to be automatically merged. And we're done. Let's stop the clock. I think 2021 started good because I've been able to stay within the three minutes limits. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this feature. And I really think it's a cool feature, but also very important for me because, you know, I work with distributed teams. And if you are like me, you know that you need to wait approval from people from other time zones. And sometimes you may forget to close your pull request or merge it in. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already. And I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave. Oh.